Tonight on Big Brother, Rebecca's struggling to fit in. Don't judge me according to my religion. I am a person. You're just weird because you're weird. Yeah. And yeah. you're a Mormon. Zoran's hungry habits land him in bad books. He eats everyone's food. He's been named the seagull. But it's Joel and Alicia who give in to temptation. Snowy whistled her way down the yellow brick road. Big Brother has woken the housemates to rehearse for their weekly task. They had to perform a fairy tale themed pantomime. Until she spotted three little pigs by Hay Bale Forest. The first little pig snorted. Hey, I'll be set from the Big Bad Wolf in my straw house. You wait and see. Suddenly, the big bad wolf bounded on the scene. <laughs> drooling and sporting a wicked grin, he growled. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come here. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your crib down. But the pigs were not intimidated. And the third little pig shouted out. Yo, puff daddy, go blow your own crib down. The wolf was mortified. Humiliated, he sulked off the island his tail between his legs. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf. And they trotted off to their local to celebrate his fairy tail. This is Big Brother. The hot water is now on. Good morning, Tiger. How are you? The housemates have to use a timer in the shower. They're only allowed four minutes per person each day. What do you got planned for the day? Anything exciting? I wouldn't mind doing something exciting. You got anything exciting to do? Yeah, we'll do heaps of things. What do you want to do? Have you gone inside? Yeah. <laughs> Just to show you how good your conversation is. Yeah, shut up and wash your clothes. Actually, I'm washing yours. Yeah, well... Get Kidding. my whites white, woman. I wouldn't want to put your mum out of a job. <coughs> hey, hey. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say your mum does your washing. And my cooking and my cleaning. And sometimes well, I come home from work and my room's clean. Really? She cleans my room as well. Well, aren't you just a... But hey, it's not like I Independent, haven't lived. Independent, mature I'm not a man. Mum, no, I'm not a mummy's boy because I've lived out of home since I was 17. And I've only just moved home in the last year. Really? I've yeah. lived out of home since I was 16, and I've never looked back. That's because you're a bogan. No, it's not because I'm a bogan. Because <laughs> I'm life educated, and I'm tough. Territory tough, mate. Would anyone in here like a coffee or a tea? I just really need one at the moment. Maybe a coffee, please. A coffee. coffee? Yeah. I'm family orientated. Family is very important to me. I'm family orientated too. They are very important to me. I just don't have the same relationship that you do. Mm. My family uh -huh. is everything to me. Do you know how to Buddy, coffee? Buddy, do you yeah. want a coffee? Sorry? Do you want a coffee? Yeah, okay, Susanna, that'd be nice. How do you want it? Do you want regular milk or I'll soy? Just, I'll just have it how you have it if you want. Okay, cool. Um, TJ, coffee? No, thank you. One, two, three, four. Okay. Just yell out and I'll come in and grab it. Yeah, yeah, good. I'll bring it out to you. It's cool. Oh, God. This place is amazing, big brother. Susan, did you ask everyone in the house if they want a drink? Yeah. Except me. Everyone in the house. Where were you? I walked out there. I was in here. I went to the bedroom. Do you want one? No, thank you. I can make you one. There's no, some... I don't want one. It wasn't that I was single getting asked. one out. It's just that you asked. That's all. Huh? Thanks for asking. For a couple of years. Thanks for asking now. Oh. 
when I was playing. That's right. I, just I totally didn't. Out. I just. I thought, jeez. Am I making drinks to everyone? Have no. I done something? I don't know. I just walked out I went and, that, and I denounced it to everyone and I wasn't actually asking individually. Thank you. I'm sorry. That's all right. I don't mean to leave you out. Oh, thank you. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Coming up... The Outsiders looking for an in. Emma and I have had kind of similar upbringings. We should actually connect well. Blah, blah, blah. To evict Zoran, SMS Zoran to 199 evict. To save Zoran, SMS Zoran to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555576 and follow the prompts. Legion votes cost 55 cents. Calls from mobiles higher. Lines close at 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, the 13th of May. Terms and conditions, bigbrother.3mobile.com.au. I'm totally struggling though today with Emma. I didn't even get a good hello, good morning. Either did I. <laughs> I, I've completely, I've completely just given up. Can't you just, can't people just pretend to like people? <laughs> can't you? Yeah. Oh. Everyone thinks that if you tell a story that's really, you know, deep down in the closet and locked away in the vault, then you're obviously, you know, you're part of the family, you've opened up and you're a real team player and, you know, you're honest. You and give you a pat on the back. And, yeah. yeah. It's one of those it's things like, that... Blah, blah, blah. I'm honestly praying to understand what I can do to resolve the problem, like what I can do, um, and that maybe that they'd be a little, like their hearts would be a little more open towards me, a little more, like, and that I might be able to understand them more and be able to mm. talk to them the way that they need, obviously, to yeah. to communicate. I would never change. I would never change myself for people in here or this environment. You know what I mean? Like I think some people really are jumping around and trying to network and trying to get everyone on their team. Maybe that works for them, but to me, I just smell fake. From what I've heard from other people, I, f I think Emma and I have had kind of similar upbringings, and so we should actually connect well. But then someone suggested maybe that's the reason why she's doesn't want to be anywhere near right, it because right maybe she realises that. I don't know, I haven't really talked about it. Oh, maybe. I'm just going to slip in here if that's all right and just continue on your little merry way. Is that all right? Oh, yeah. Well, mate, I've got to do them all, don't I? Do you have to do all these as well? So. She's still inside, isn't it? Yeah. But oh, hey, I'm not interrupting you. You always just do your thing and I'm just going to... No, it's not really Just act like I'm not even bloody here. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Judge me according to my religion. I am a person. Hey, your religion what you're got doing, nothing to do with it. What you're doing know. is saying is saying that all Mormons are like me, which is probably very not true. It's not true. I know a lot of Mormons. Everybody's not, not like you at all. And don't everybody's individual. Me based on my knowledge of what's well, how am I different to your friends? Um, yeah. Well, they're not quite as energetic or bubbly, or they don't. They're not you. They're like I'm my own or, person. Yeah. It'd be the same as saying that every Catholic was the same. Oh, exactly. That's what I'm saying, is that you're not, you're not you because you're Mormon. You're... Me because I'm just weird. Yeah, you're just weird because you're weird. Yeah. And yeah. you're a Mormon. I was born that way. Yeah, I know. I was born tall. He was born a geek. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Susanna was born yeah. perfect. <laughs> a perfect human, yes. Just as long as you're, um, you got that straight now. It's nice. Hey. You switched on pretty early. Going in. Really? Yep. Already? <clears throat> yeah. Alicia has been sharing her bed with Billy at night. <clears throat> What's going on with you and your little sister? <sighs> oh, nothing, man. <gasps> what a load of crap. <clears throat> <clears throat> nah, it's just. It's just nice to have a bit of affection, someone to cuddle. Nothing too serious. I'm not a serious guy, Billy. Do mm. you want to cuddle me? I'd love to. See, that's flying right there. 
TJ and Bodie also shared a bed again, despite breaking up the night before. Okay, so what happened? There was cuddling. Was there kissing? No kissing. None at all? Promise. So that was spooning. Yeah, well, if you spooning. like it, that's not a problem, don't worry. No, but some, some days, like... Well, maybe she's trying. No, but you don't understand, like... Yeah, no, she's trying. Is it a bad thing, though, that if I wasn't in this house, I probably wouldn't be here? Yeah? No, do you think me and Billy are in love? <laughs> yeah, so you don't think it's a bad thing? No. It's different when you're in here. Like, and she's completely opposite to that, what I would go for outside of the house. And I know that, do you know what I mean? And it's just like... I don't know. Oh, I don't know about you, but with our whole thing, it's just a cover like mine. Mm. Have you guys passed? No. I'm good, But we're not like, you know, a little TJ and Bodie thing going to let her hand. But we'll never even, like, we both understand that it's in here, it's just like it's nice to have. If she wants to come and have a cuddle, she can have a cuddle. Mm. You guys got the perfect little, mm, it's the perfect little thing. <laughs> Next on Big Brother, Zoran's on the swoop. He's been named the seagull by Travis. He either doesn't get it or he doesn't care about the rules. Or he's just very hungry. To evict Joel, SMS Joel to 199 evict. To save Joel, SMS Joel to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555572 and follow the prompts. Yeah, I'll go with. Do you guys want to go I've never been there before. Give it a go. I've never been there. I'll go again. Despite being in the house for two and a half weeks, Travis is having his first sauna. Oh, you're kidding. Gee, she gets bloody warm here, doesn't it? What do you do? Just sit. Oh, I bet you fart in here. Well, I just thought about it just then. I should have left one for Bodie. <laughs> he's, he's just talking about farting in here. Yeah, do <laughs> Oh. All right, you ready? This is intense. Okay? Well, what happens? Oh, this is where it gets warm. I'll show you. I do three, but I'll do two and see how you feel. If you want to... Three is pretty intense. It's hot now, though. It gets hotter, if, it, if it gets too hot, you just tuck your... You tuck your head down. Wait, one more. Now feel this. Oh, you're kidding! Nah. I can't see my glasses are fogged up. Oh, she's a lot burns your face, doesn't it? Breathe in. What are you doing? Just breathe in and, and put the hot air in your lungs. Yeah. So if I suck that in, it's good for me? Yeah. That ain't bad for you. Well, you don't hold your breath. <laughs> don't hold your breath? <laughs> Is it? Don't no, hold your breath too long. Ooh. Oh, I feel, I feel like I'm in an iron. Do you want another one? Nah, <laughs> How just, long does that last for? Not a few minutes. Just duck, duck forward, because your head's You're getting the hottest forward. part. See, it's cool down here. Because hot air rises. Put your hands up like this, feel how hot it is up there. Oh, mate, that is bloody unbelievable. I don't, I don't know how I could like appreciate that. I, I, I've never been in anything like this in my bloody life, mate. It's sitting at 75 degrees. It's 75. Why don't you put the bread in here during the oh, day? To really, ride. That's a brilliant idea. That's, that's a brilliant that's idea. That's a gold idea. Mate, you're a genius. <laughs> Alicia. Hi big brother. Hi big brother. Hi, I just came in for a chat. I come to tell you that it's only 13? 13 more days to my birthday. And I've got some gossip. Alicia was in Billy's bed again <laughs> last night and got home really late. I did not get home late. And she woke late. me when she got in the bed. And um, I think TJ and Bodie have made up. Thank God. Jeez, I've done it now. I've never been in a sauna in my life. But then Travis is also sitting right next to it too. It's bloody torture, mate! Oh, mate. Ah! Just, you're like an adrenaline junkie now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm about to walk out of here. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm done. Let's oh, do sorry, guys, no, but I'm bloody done. No, 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 no. To the, to the shout. To the shout. Go, go, go. You're sick! Hi, big brother. What about him? 
eating my bread. Well, yeah, he ate your bread today. Lauren ate my, some of my bread today, but he did ask. It's a bit hard. He just goes, can I have some? All the time. He seriously is a little bit of a seagull. Yeah. I'm surprised. He's been named the seagull by Travis. He either doesn't get it or he doesn't care about the rules. Or but he's just very hungry. He eats everyone's food. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else? No, that's, that's all. all. That is all. Thanks. Thank you. Isn't it down past? Oh, down past. Down past. No, dude. Stop How do you know it. Stop that? loving me. Okay, well, you've asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Hairdresser Alicia has asked the other housemates not to touch her expensive hairdressing scissors. Hmm. Problem solved. Too, but he Are you kidding? No. <gasps> Don't say anything. He put them back now. What is it? Sorry, I'm just using his scissors. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, I just got him in trouble. Who? Zara was just using her scissors. Her oh, 500 on her hair. I don't know what he was cutting, but when I went in there, he quickly put them back. Hey, did you use my scissors? Oh, you just quickly just here. Yeah, just uh, it was one snip. That was it. Yeah, it's just sorry. Like I'll really ask next time. And if you drop them, they're wrecked. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. You gotta ask me. Sorry. <sighs> yeah, he used them. Sorry, yeah, he had a bit of long hair and he wanted to cut it. Told you. No, he, put... he was cutting leather. I swear he was cutting leather. With it. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Did you say that was alright? Mate, no. I said you've got to ask me. What did he say? Oh, it was only for hair. I said. <laughs> Doesn't matter though. <sighs> Yeah, but they're just so expensive, and I can't afford yeah. to get a new pair. Yeah, no, it's pretty rude. It's just because one drop and they're wrecked. You're nasty. Well, it's true. Well, I hope you like you... it if someone grabbed your hose. Well, I hope you didn't just go. <laughs> You've got to stand your ground, otherwise people will just always use them because you think she don't care. Like, you have to stand your ground. I did. Yep, good. Right. I'm so angry. With what? But they don't ask you. Yeah. What's that? Brussels sprouts. What's going on, handsome? Just uh, whipping up some tov. <sighs> Sorry again about your scissors, man. Just to ask. Yeah, oh, oh no, seriously, I was going to run over and ask, but I just thought, oh, just quick snip. Looking good, buddy. What'd you do, Zara? I borrowed his scissors for a quick snip. There. I'm Ma. On your head? You don't ever touch a hairdresser's scissors. I know. Without permission. <laughs> that is death. That was my warning. I hope you're sleeping with one eye open tonight. Buddy. Yeah. You're going to wake up with no hair. After the break, getting up close and personal. Grab. Yeah, I like it. Okay. To evict Bodie, SMS Bodie to 199 evict. To save Bodie, SMS Bodie to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555575 and follow the prompts. Sticking the pimple thing, it's freaking me out. Don't worry, yours are not bad. At all. Look at my chest. Not bad. It's not bad. Seriously. There's pimples everywhere. No, there's not. There's hardly any. Because my boobs naturally point out slightly, so they're there. So mine. Show them under the covers if you want to see them. Okay. <laughs> Oh, they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they look massive. Yeah, but it might actually stick out a little bit anyway. Oh, they're like melons. <laughs> <laughs> you have melons. Whoa, they're so heavy. Yeah. They look good. <laughs> Alicia and, um, and Emma are under the covers, and it's really funny because I guess she's showing her a fake boob, and she's like, oh my gosh, they look massive. <laughs> I 
Couldn't care. Yeah. Okay, come here if you want. Yeah, of course you are. Oh. Emma just showed me her boobs. Oh, oh. Rebecca said, <laughs> under the covers. Rebecca said that. She thought she saw that, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure it would have just been the pimples. She's like, no, I think it was the boobs. Yeah, it was. Did. And I was going like this. Whoa. She's grabbing and going, they're like, they're like melons. melons. They're really heavy. <laughs> Now, there's going to be three people. She's going to touch only one part of your body and she has to guess the three in order. Later in the evening, Demi's come up with a new game for the housemates to play. Is someone going to come and get me? I'm going to guide you. <laughs> okay? <clears throat> okay, this first person, you're going to grab their ass, okay? Yeah, like this? Here. Grab. Yeah, I like it. Okay? Yeah. All right, that's it. Okay, next person, you're going to grab hair. The hair? Yeah. Here? Yeah. No, I'll guide you. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good That's one. it. And the third person, you're going to feel their arms. Wait, wait, wait. Here? Hand, the whole arm. Joel. <laughs> Dude. You have really nice hands, Joel. Okay. okay. Here was right. the hand and the arms. Alicia. Hey. Hey. I reckon it's Rebecca. Alright. So whose bum was it? Yeah. It's Hayley's bum. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. And my hair? Dude, yeah. can the bum please stand up? Yeah, yeah bum stand up. Bum, bum stand, stand up. up. Bum, bum stand, stand up. up. No, be, be honest, honest, guys, be honest. Okay, bum stand up. Honest, let's go. Yeah! yeah. Now, now both you stand up and show me your bum. Let's have a look. <laughs> Dig it deeper. They're quite similar. No! Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah! <laughs> the housemates are rationing food this week, but some have been carrying out secret kitchen raids at night. Don't go anywhere, because coming up next, the Big Brother Golden Key Special, where one lucky winner will unlock the opportunity of a lifetime to enter the Big Brother house. To evict TJ, SMS TJ to 199 evict. To save TJ, SMS TJ to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555574 and follow the prompts. 